Paladin Chronomancer is a calendar class designed to be a tank while also being the best healer in the game. Your damage scales with maximum HP, so use healer enhancements. Paladin Chronomancer doesn't crit, so don't use any luck. Mana Vamp is the best because you don't actually have a good mana sustain. Valiance is a viable alternative. Valiance and Healer have nearly identical health and wisdom values. Valiance has higher intellect and haste, but Healer has access to all enhancements. Elysium doesn't work because your 3 skill doesn't target enemies. And considering the main use case of Paladin Chronomancer, you almost always want to use Penitence. Said use case being group bossing and ultras, because that's what Paladin Chronomancer is good at. You might also consider Arcana and Oblast for the same reason. If you would like to increase your potential with potions, I recommend the Body Tonic and the Divine Elixir. Honor potions do increase your healing, but you have to find a way to deal with the mana cost increase. It's more likely that you're gonna have to end up using Taunt Scrolls. Pressing 4 will increase your maximum health. This means that your 2 skill will deal more damage. Your 3 skill will also give a large HOT during this time, so if you have 4, the combo is 4, 2, 3, 2, 5. This will also make sure that the increased damage from your auto attack and 2 feed into the nuke of 5. When 4 is on cooldown, just spam your skills. The damage output of Paladin Chronomancer is actually pretty weak. Not even just for a Chronomancer, but for a class in general. The one exception to this is monsters that increase your maximum health, namely Dark Carnex. If you're looking for a Chronomancer, get a Chronomancer, but this class isn't the nuker you're looking for. That said, Paladin Chronomancer is really tanky. You're usually gonna be at full health. Not a farming class, single target, short range attacks, do not use for farming. Paladin Chronomancer has two skills that scale with maximum HP, one of which can't miss. This means that the PvP amulet will increase your damage greatly. You also have debuffs, heals, and a nuke. Paladin Chronomancer is ridiculously overpowered in PvP. You have to hard counter several of its mechanics to have a chance against it. Paladin Chronomancer is generally thought to be a replacement to Arch Paladin. I will be comparing the two in a separate video, so follow me if you want to see that. But for now, Paladin Chronomancer is an S tier support. You can increase your party's haste and defenses, while decreasing the monster's dodge, defense and damage output. And as an added bonus, you're pretty much keeping everybody at permanent full health. It's also useful in some but not all ultras, generally as an Arch Paladin replacement. PCM, QCM, Mog or Strategy in particular is faster than the standard one. Overall, Paladin Chronomancer is a great support, healer and tank, and also a god tier PvPer. And as long as you don't expect Chronomancer levels of crits from it, you're gonna be happy with it.